If you Google chocolate eggnog, you'll get recipes calling for you to add chocolate syrup to store-bought eggnog. That is honestly so depressing, I can't think of a snarky quip. So, let's make some from scratch. Also, there'll be booze in it. Can't find me now, FTC. Weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place to go... Now, as you should hopefully know, eggnog contains eggs. And the more braver amongst us are okay with putting raw eggs into eggnog. And unless I'm invited to my 8th grade bully's Christmas party, I don't want to give anybody salmonella. So, we'll have to pasteurize these. To pasteurize the eggs, bust out your sous vide machine, link in the description by the way, and a container that will hold at least six quarts or six liters of water. So fill up the container with enough water to come above the minimum requirement for your sous vide machine. Set the temperature for 135. Is this guy your president? The number you're looking for is 57 degrees Celsius. Do you have to use a sous vide machine? No, you can do this with a pot of water on the stovetop. But quite honestly, it'd be a lot easier to convince someone that Epstein's death was suicide. So if you're willing to spend a bit of money, buy yourself one of these. Preferably with my link. Okay, once the sous vide comes up to temp, using a pair of tongs, gently dunk in our eggs. Now, even though this recipe will require six eggs, uh, toss in a few more eggs just for safety. Okay, once the eggs are in, set the timer for two hours and let them pasteurize. Okay, after two hours, take our eggs and throw them in an ice bath. This will stop them from cooking. Also, you won't burn your fingers when you crack them. All right, once the eggs cool down, we can finally, and I mean finally, get to work on our eggnog. Crack in three whole eggs. Oh, and uh, you'll notice that the whites are definitely more cloudy. That's what we want. And now it's time to add three egg yolks. Here's the thing about pasteurizing eggs. It makes the egg white thicker, which means it's going to be harder to separate the yolk. Try your hardest to not get the eggshell in the egg yolk. Crack it on a flat surface. And once you get a good enough crack, try to opening it gently. And instead of going eggshell to eggshell, just use your hands like this. Because, and once you get a few, and you'll realize how much thick the egg white is compared to a regular raw egg. Hey, leftover eggs. I think I'll make an omelet out of them later. Take a whisk and whip these up good. Oh, and uh, my recommendation, put a wet napkin underneath the bowl. That way it doesn't slide as we stir in our next ingredients. Let's add one cup of white sugar. Then let's add one cup of brown sugar. All right, once the sugar has been all mixed in, Add one cup of natural cocoa powder. It's going to take a while for it to incorporate. Be patient. Okay, the cocoa has been mixed in, and now it's time to add our spices. Let's add two teaspoons of cinnamon. One teaspoon of ground clove and one teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. And half a teaspoon of salt. All right, let's give it a taste test, see what it needs. A little bit more clove and a little bit more nutmeg. Okay, spices are in. Let's add three cups of heavy cream. And uh, since the mixture is super thick, add the cream in batches.
Then add three cups of milk. And finally, let's add one tablespoon of vanilla. You know, I might have the mental age of a 12 year old, but that does not mean I can't add booze. Two thirds a cup of Kahlua. Okay, quick taste test. Eh, why not? A little bit more booze. Oh, Merry Christmas to me. And finally, pour the whole thing into a pitcher. Okay, that was stupid. So do this instead. Just grab a soup ladle and just slowly pour it into the pitcher. And there we go, folks. A nice, softly drink that will make your season right. Oh, and uh, even if you did not add any booze, go easy on this stuff. It'll make your bowl full of jelly bigger than Santa's. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. I'm not joking, by the way. One of the recipes I did look up really did call for adding chocolate syrup to store-bought eggnog.